My name is Aya Miron, and I am the curator of the exhibition Shutters and Stairs, Elements of Modern Architectures in Contemporary Art. An examination of Israel Museum acquisition from recent years has uncovered an interesting phenomenon. Contemporary artists are directing their attention not to an entire building, but to a single isolated element, such as a floor, wall, door, or staircase, whose design is typical of modernist architecture. The works in view appear to have been cut out of the vast expanse of the world and thrown onto the museum wall or floor. They invite us to take a closer look at though they have emerged from the unconscious realm of everyday existence. C.B. Geva's shutter wall is an agglomeration of disused objects. Windows from the time of the First Gulf War, complete with glass pane taped up against shuttering, and mostly old shutters found on the street after being thrown away. This work has to do with both the two-dimensional aspect of painting and the urge to charge out with political meanings as a reflection of reality. Most of the wall is made up of plastic shutters, an Israeli element designed as a low-cost method to provide shade and to close off balconies. These shutters are one of the characteristic architectural features of Israeli towns, even though they were not part of the building's original design. It is an architecture founded on the local needs that, like language, are natural products of an environment and culture. Geva's shutters are all in a closed position, perhaps symbolizing the closing of eyes in the face of reality, or possibly indicating the aftermath of departure and displacement. Renata Lucas's work is a thin slab of concrete floor that partially covers a traditional Turkish carpet lying underneath it. Perfectly matching the gallery's concrete floor, it looks like a replication of a section of that floor, much like the photographic act of framing, but by actual physical means. The smooth concrete surface is regarded as a desirable feature of contemporary art spaces everywhere. Together with the Turkish carpet, it presents a hybrid of the high modernist aesthetics and past notions of a good taste. Lucas's decision to complete the carpet's rectangle with a slab of industrial concrete is a deviation or disruption that highlights our tendency to ignore the floor under our feet. This work encapsulates modernism, modern architecture, and photography all at once. Noah Yaffe's stairwell looks like a framed photograph of a stairwell seen from above. Yaffe views her stairs as a representation of a perfect crime, a space that allows for bodiless observation, much like a movie camera. With all the evidence removed, the space returned to its clean, quiet, perfect geometric guise. The theme here is imposture. Yaffe's works poses as black and white photograph, but in fact, it's a three-dimensional scale model of a stairwell mounted behind an opening cut into the wall. The clever use of lighting behind the wall and around the model, together with the frame that surrounds the square hall, creates the illusion that it is a photograph. This work may be seen as a critic of our tendency to regard photographed images as a proxy of reality. Alex Israel's untitled Two Flats refers to the exterior wall of typical buildings of the Los Angeles architectural scene. The two panels are shaped like gates or windows, but their surface is covered with rough stucco texture of an exterior wall. The color gradient on these walls look like makeup, also presenting a kind of artificial Los Angeles sunset. 
The flats were produced in the film set construction workshop of Warner Brothers Studios in Hollywood, and the artist uses them as a set for the celebrity talk show As It Lays that he edits and hosts. He also uses them as backgrounds for his sculpture in exhibitions. Much as studio photographers in the past would place painted backdrop behind their subjects. When they are hung on the wall by themselves, they come across as pseudo paintings, perfectly made up surface, the typical sign of the culture of Hollywood's alternative reality. The three-dimensional object that the Elefrati makes from various materials can be described as sculptural renditions of photographs. In Rodica, she recreates the appearance of shadows and light cast through a window shutter onto a framed picture. To this end, she inlies light and dark wood in the frame and uses screen print for the glass covering the picture. The work tells the story of a reproduction of a painting that once hung on the wall of the artist's grandparents' apartment in Haifa. The print in question had been brought from Romania by the grandparents during a visit to the country of their birth. Over time, the reproduction faded in the powerful Israeli sunlight, and so they asked a friend to recreate it in oil paint. By presenting a photograph of a later painting that was made of a faded reproduction of an original painting, Efrati is continuing the sequence of substitutions begun by her family. In this way, the historical timeline of the picture travels from one homeland to another, is represented through a series of transformations and replications. Ariel Schlesinger's work, The Kid, combines the photograph of a broken window with the actual glass pane of that window, which is used to frame the photograph itself. Schlesinger broke the window of his own gallery in Jaffa, much like the boy in Charlie Chaplin's film, The Kid, who thrown stone on windows in order to drum up business for the poor glazer who had adopted him. The random crack in the glass makes the work unique, thereby raising its value. Thus, the work undermined the notion of photography as a form of reproduction while accommodating it at the same time. The transparent window pane is the meeting point between the contradictory action of breaking the window and photographing it. One destroys, the other perpetuates. In so doing, Schlesinger's work embodies the notion of art as subversion. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you soon at the museum.